Okay, so now we continue with the next one, which is about the operation of matrices. So when we are saying that we have uh, the operation of addition and subtraction, the very first thing to, to highlight or to make sure is that they are having the same order or what we call as the same dimension. What is the meaning of same order or same dimension? Meaning the number of row and the number of column of the, uh, the matrices that we want to add up or subtract need to be the same. For example, this one, we have two by two matrix. So this is supposed to be a two by two matrix uh, also. Then only we can uh, do the operation of addition. The same goes to uh, subtraction to get the answer of a two by two matrix, okay? So the operation of addition and subtraction, uh, the thing that we have to make sure is that they are having the same dimension for the one that we are uh, trying to add. Okay, the same goes to the one that we want to minus. Okay, the matrices have to be with the same dimension or the same order. Okay, so we are going to see the example given here. So we have a uh, matrix A, which is this one, which is a two by two matrix. And B is also a two by two matrix uh, because of having the same dimension. Therefore, we can add up A and B matrix, which is going to be something like this. We can just put aside the same place elements uh, in the same uh, position, which means that five is added by negative one becomes five plus negative one. Three add up by two, two uh, plus zero, and six plus by four. So at the end, you, you will get a two by two matrix as what we have here. Okay, the same goes to the process of uh, subtraction. Again, the, the size have to be the same size for A and B. Then only we can say that we, have, we can minus uh, matrix A and matrix B. Okay, so for example, here we have 5 uh, minus by negative 1. So this is what we get. 3 minus by 2 and 2 minus by 0 and 6 minus by 4. Okay, you just have to see uh, or to minus the same position elements in uh, both of the uh, in both of the matrices given. Okay. All right. The next one is uh, scalar scale scalar multiplication. So this is when you have a scale value, which means that you have a value that you would like to multiply with a matrix. The value is, uh, for example, given as K. So if you want to multiply K with a matrix, then it will be just uh, multiply the outside element. Uh, I mean the sc scalar that we have outside with the values or the elements that we have inside the matrices. Okay, so this is going to be K times by A, K times by B, K times by C and K times by D. Alright, so the example is given over here when you have a, a row matrix as what we have here. We just have to multiply 3 and 2, uh, 3 and 0 and 3 and negative 1 and this is what you get. Okay, a scalar multiplication. Uh, if we are having a size or dimension of uh, 1 by 3 matrix, meaning our final answer also need to be a 1 by 3 matrix. Okay. The same goes to this one. This is uh, 3 by 1. So the final answer is going to be 3 by 1 matrix. Okay, so it's just by multiplying the scalar that we have or scalar that we have outside with the elements inside. Okay, so what about this one? This one is when we have a combined operation of addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. For example, let's say we have matrix A and matrix B given as this one, and you are asked to find out A plus B, just the ordinary one that you have understood before. B minus A is also the same as what we have before, and this is the scalar multiplication that we have. And this is the combination of scalar multiplication and addition. Okay, we'll see the example for D. All right, look at D. We have 2A plus by 3B. So 2A meaning 2 times by matrix A. 
plus by uh, 3 times by matrix B. Okay, so you just have to write the scalar outside and the uh, matrix uh, after that. And this is for the second uh, part of the matrix with addition in, be, uh, in between. Okay, so when you want to multiply or you, you have to settle for the scalar multiplication. So this is what happened for the scalar multiplication for both sides. Then uh, as usual, you just add 2 and 15 becomes 17. 4 minus by 18 becomes negative uh, 14. 6 minus by negative 20, uh, 6 plus by negative 21 becomes negative 15 and 8 plus by 24 becomes 32. Okay, so that is the example involving uh, scalar multiplication and also addition. Okay, so you can also find out the values if you are not given any values uh, of uh, or you are asked to find out the value of the unknown, you can just try to settle as what you understand before. For example, for this one, we have 3x uh, plus by 6 equals to 12. Okay, so you can just find out your value of x by uh, transpose, uh, transposing the uh, the the equation and you'll get the unknown of value of x which is equivalent to 2. Okay, the same goes to y. 7 plus y is equals to 10. Therefore, y will be equals to 3 after you get it from the transposition. 